Okay. <laughs> Are we there? How can we tell? We're gonna go live. Well, we're live, but we're gonna uh, just check it out in a minute. Let me just see if it's, uh, if it's, uh, uh, hang on a sec. If it's on there, what, come on. Oh, there we are. Okay, we're rolling. I guess I can see it on the page. Uh, kind of behind. Oh, there we are. Okay, we're rolling. I guess what? I can see it on the page. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm assuming it's working. Get rid of that. Oh yeah, jeez. Okay. Hello, everybody. Oh, where you yeah, are? I don't know. Ben's in... Where is he live? I don't know. <laughs> He's somewhere. Uh, yeah, my name's Dan Bitt No Bacon, uh, and this is a live uh, video uh, for Blacktop Records. It's uh, Facebook uh, Blacktop. Just put black top in there and you'll find it. Okay, uh, so I've got about an hour to play songs and tell you things or whatever. I'm here in uh, self-isolation in Twist, Washington, in my rental. Uh, here's a song from uh, from the Stardust to Darwin stuff album. And I'll, I'll explain as I go along, but I'm sure it'll become obvious anyway. Okay. Get on 
Yeah. yeah, that was from uh, an album uh, a few years ago, uh, 2017, Stardust to Darwin stuff. Uh, most of these next songs and bits uh, from the uh, album we have recorded, it's going to be a double CD album, and it's called Mesmerica Expector Circus. And it comes out officially in June, but if you're clever with technology, you can find it on uh, Bandcamp already. Uh, and uh, so most of these next songs, so this uh, this is actually the title track of disc one. It's called uh, Mesmerica. And uh, Mesmerica is, is kind of a made up word, but it, it, it's that idea that uh, we live in uh, in a situation with this pandemic and before this pandemic where we are basically, to some extent, mesmerized and hypnotized uh, here in the United States with the idea of the American dream, uh, which really doesn't deliver and hasn't delivered for at least 40 years for most people. Uh, it goes like this. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, title track of disc one. I'm just trying to get a bit of a better camera angle. Whoa! Oh, no. no, 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 what happened there? Mic stand, not doing its job. My bloody hell, bloody hell. We should have some technicians in here. I know, I know, I know. What? Is that any better? Not really, you can't see the guitar, but... Oh, there you go, it's real. <laughs> it's not fake. Uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, so uh, lead track of this one, okay. Uh, emergency, parts one and two, climate emergency, obviously. Uh, before the pandemic and during the pandemic, we're still in a climate emergency. And, uh, you know, depending on how things go in the next uh, weeks and months here in uh, north central Washington, uh, fire season has already started, not that there's fires, but uh, we have a burn ban, which is early. Uh, and I just read the, the West is in a, the grip of a prolonged drought over the last uh, 18 years or so, uh, which is, you know, going to tree rings is a bigger drought than we've had for a few thousand years. So it doesn't look good for fires. And if that comes on top of self-isolation, who knows what's going to happen. Anyway emergency goes like this and uh i can't get no satisfaction for meaningless distraction the daily vicissitude celebrity fake attitude of who is not wearing what who is not dating who and who is in and all the other crap you too much of the shit about There's a century or more of marketing Whole industry spent on perfecting Ways of function managing Tricking our brains into thinking That somehow more human To resign ourselves to the end of the world That is the end of corporate capitalism Meanwhile, climate knows no borders Climate knows no creeds Climate touches everything Climate never sleeps Protecting the privilege of all of the above Meanwhile, climate knows no borders Climate knows no creeds Climate touches everything Climate never sleeps
Six minute epic in two parts emergency so here we are uh, as i said uh, it is friday uh, which means uh, it is climate strike uh, friday uh, we've been doing some online uh, little things and also it's uh, covid homeschool so here's covid homeschool for uh, climate strike friday i don't know if you can see that uh, it looks backward to me. The three R's, uh, rediscovering our common humanity, relearning our critical thinking skills, and resisting the entrapocracy of predator capitalism. Now, entrapocracy, I posted this last week, and a friend's like, what's entrapocracy? What, 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 what are you talking about? And so basically, let's stick that up there on the board. Basically, uh, entrapocracy, uh, it's a made up word and it, it, it kind of substitutes for uh, neoliberalism, which is the, uh, the ideology behind predator capitalism. And the, the, the new record is kind of all about this. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, neoliberalism, people, they've never heard of it or George Monbiot, somebody posted a thing on my Facebook from uh, George Monbiot from about four years ago explaining neoliberalism. And he starts off by saying, well, you know, if, if you're in the communist Soviet Union, everyone would know what communism was. But here in the West where predator capital, capitalism reigns, people, a lot of people don't know what neoliberalism is. Uh, anyway, so I, I came up with this word entrapocracy. This song really explains it. Uh, but it's the idea that, uh, you know, we're entrapped in a system uh, which we have to work for. Well, a lot of us are unemployed at the moment, but usually. Uh, and, it, and it really doesn't serve our interests at all. And we're entrapped by it because we've got to pay rent or whatever it is. Uh, so uh, this is a little uh, detail which explains it. And it's called... Uh, hustle and grind. Uh, 
uh, I might have to look up the words. So. It was like this. How did it come to this? Everybody got a hustle. How did it come to this? Everybody got a grind. The finely tuned claustrophobia, simply trying to make ends meet. The neoliberal wet dream that price fixes all of our needs. Roping us in with reveries we never asked for, no ever wanted. Strapping us in, locking us down. The seatbelt sign is permanently on. Everybody got a hustle, how did it come to this? Everybody got a grind, sequestrating our cooperative spirit, sucking our skill sets dry, assets stripping our creativity, burglarizing our souls, pilfering our best ideas, misappropriating our better nature, stealing our labor, filching our talent, taking up all of our time. So there you go, and you know, and I, in effect, you know, I, I in trapocracy. So, for example, I have a website, you know, dambertnobacom.com. I pay what like twenty six dollars a month. I put content on there, and you know, keep it, and nobody looks at it hardly ever. Nobody, they go to Facebook. So basically, Facebook has entrapped us, and we're on Facebook now, obviously, and it has entrapped us by monopolizing, you know where people find stuff uh, and I have to be on Facebook you know I wouldn't be doing this live concert if I hadn't been in contact with Ben of Blacktop who thanks Ben uh, you know but I'm kind of entrapped by it as well because there's a lot of things I don't like about it but here we are uh, anyway uh, yeah yeah but mama mama you know if he does bad things if he gets poison up your nose well it's not, it's not good. And you know, Mama, there's a boy at nursery and he's called Michael and he's a boy and he has a mandal. It's like an action man. And he thinks that tea man, not I know, and I know, I know we're not supposed to say the T word, but Mama, he thinks tea man is like action man and it's got stubble. It's like, and it's like your boyfriend, Mama, it's got chimp eye, but... But, but, Mama, I don't think, I don't think it's like tea, man. No, you know why? Because I think, I think he's like bad clown creeper. Yeah, yeah, bad clown creeper. Anyway, here's a song about it, if I can do it. <laughs>
When is the penny gonna drop? Which one of those balls is gonna fall? When is the penny gonna drop? When is the penny gonna drop? Which one of those balls is gonna fall? And on whose watch? Piano. There's a piano here, if you couldn't tell, you can't see it, but there it is, just so you know. Okay, stay, microphone, not microphone, camera. It's in a microphone stand. Uh, yeah, uh, Expect a Circus, title track of this too, uh, is another, uh, there's a piano. So, so there's, a, you, know, I, you know, I sing a lot of songs that, that have politics in them, uh, but, uh, you know, I try and write songs that are, uh, you know, uh, love songs or songs about science and interesting things and positive things and uh, this is one I mean it, the, you know the state of the world it, it's very difficult for me not to to have a little bit of content in there but I try here's one and also I, I should explain uh, the the record it, it has a full band on it I always try and record with a full band so there's like five people including me from Twisp and some guys from Seattle uh, and I, you know, we, uh, Ben, uh, of Blacktop has organized a tour for us, uh, in, uh, mid, late July, uh, Canada, the Midwest over to the East coast. Uh, and I, we don't know if that will happen or not, but I hope it does. And, and I usually tour, uh, with my singing partner, Kira, who, uh, lives down the road, but <laughs> we're socially isolated and I've worked out how to do this from more than one place so uh, at the moment we can't sing together like we normally would but uh so some of these songs are written as duets so and i'm singing both parts uh so you're not getting the full picture but uh, you know and she sings this one but uh I, i'm gonna do it anyway uh goes like this and it's called crazy demons play I studied uh, children's play in college in England for two years. Fascinating. About uh, how, it, how, you know, it makes us who we are as people and as a species. This kind of explains that a little bit. We don't remember Running round like crazy demons When we were five or six years old Tapping into an energy that's older than history Given half a chance we play William Shakespeare did it as a kid At some point carrying on Defying forces who only ever want
Kings of crazy shit Finding out by doing it And enjoying it And sharing it and pushing it and loving it And all the while laughing at the risk For its own sake Cause it feels good The endorphin rush it's nature's way of sharpening our wits By tapping into an energy that's older than history And given half a chance we play Imagination and creativity somewhere in Neuro Circuit City. Crazy demons wired on organic electricity, coming up with crazy ideas, stumbling upon possible solutions and testing them. Just might work And if we're ever, ever gonna save the day We never, ever do it without play There's an ending, but I miss it. It goes like this. Okay, so uh, there you go, piano, yeah. Uh, uh, and it's interesting, uh, the papers are falling over. You know, I, I am, you know, I go to the store to get veggies. My son's living here, he came back from college. My daughter's uh, mom's, she came back from college. Uh, so I do see people a little bit, you know, and, uh, but I'm here most of the time, <laughs> just me. Uh, maybe I'll give you a little tour in a, in a bit. How are we doing for time? Uh, yeah, so, uh, but as you can tell, I'm a bit of a novice on the piano, but I, I do swear, you know, play and everything. I swear by the idea that no matter how old you are, you can always uh, learn new things. So I've been stuck here in the house and I've actually, you know, I, I played the piano, some of the piano parts on the record, but you can stop and start again and redo it like 50 times. But uh, this is kind of a, a a first for me to play piano and sing live. Really, we did we did it once uh, right before the shutdown. We had a show locally, uh, a big uh, benefit show uh, for the local uh, chamber music people who who put on you know and teach uh, students and do great things. And so it was just all local musicians, and it, and it was March seventh and. Uh, so we were aware that, oh, it's a little bit weird. Should we be doing this? And, you know, uh, there was like one person with a mask and we were disinfecting the microphones and there's like gel everywhere, you know, if you need it. But we, you know, we were elbow bumping. <laughs> we really didn't uh, comprehend what was coming. And I think we totally dodged a bullet, basically, because like, uh, I, and I just read about this recently, uh, over the mountains in Mount Vernon, uh, there was a church choir and they, they had their church choir practice uh, like three days after we'd done our music thing. And, and uh, you know, and they were there with the same debate. Should we go ahead and do it? And they went ahead and did it on the Tuesday and over half the people contracted it. And, you know, they didn't really know at that time, but scientists are learning that a lot of it's transmitted by air. So breathing in and singing in close contact with other people. Unfortunately, because it's a beautiful human thing, not a good idea at this time. Oh, we're gonna get back to that. 
whenever this, uh, you know, is over. But yeah, anyway, anyway, where are we? Okay, okay, so, uh, okay, so the Climate Friday today, okay. So this, I, I redid this, I did this a couple of weeks ago, but as you can see, uh, at the time it was 10 million unemployed and now it's 22 million unemployed in the United States. And I know I'm, you know, I, I do a bit of computer art and, and there it is. And, uh, you know, if we did, you know, if we had a Green New Deal, when everything kind of heals up, then uh, it would be a really good thing. Uh, you know, well-paid jobs, union jobs, as Bernie says, that the would be actually doing something positive and not just for positive sake, to actually save the planet, you know. So, yeah, uh, I'm sad that Bernie's dropped out. Uh, I think he did an amazing thing, the campaign, uh, not me, us, uh, of putting... Uh, what in this country are seen as extreme left-wing things, but are actually really popular with people, generally, uh, on the agenda. We'll see. It's going to be an absolute shit show, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and it's a long time between now and November. Anyway, back to the show. We have about another 25 minutes, I think. So uh, we're going to go with this one. And uh, I uh, recently, this is another one off the record. And uh, just this week, uh, Robert Reich, I don't know if you know him, he, he, you can find him online. He, he, uh, he, he comments a lot about the economics of our situation. And he, he said that uh, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, who's in Washington, obviously, Amazon, makes a, nearly $9 million an hour, uh, which is, and I, I worked out, I thought, right, I'm going to do the math, the mathematics, and that is $2,489.21 a second. Uh, you know, and I've probably been talking about it for like 20 seconds. So he's made like 50 grand while I'm just talking about it. And you know, that 2,000, you know, to, to call it 2,500 a second. It's like twice the, the, the stimulus the money from the one-off payment from the government, which I actually got yesterday. I was surprised because the IRS had my bank details, but uh, what a what an obscenity. Anyway, uh, so this is kind of about, you know, he gave away like a hundred million dollars and he's like, oh yeah, and Jeff Bezos, yeah. But he's like, he made, he made it back in like less than, a, you know, a morning's work, whatever. Okay. Uh, Corporate Corporate social responsibility, you can make it up. But some stupidly rich, rich folks did as another way of cleaning up. Fairy tales of endless economic growth, ruled by a think irony tank, and ad designed to make the customer feel his new best friend is a fine. Shit, I've forgotten the second verse. Uh, what? And I didn't have the words. Oh, I do have the words. Yes. We'll just like pretend, uh, you know, that, you know, it's, it's uh, cable TV where there's no hiccups uh, and it goes like this. Of course, they're actors crying out loud just trying to make an honest living Jesus even the dog is an actor give a dog a bone for not to see readable small print and the man what's coming down the pipe big banks investing in set pipeline getting carbon another green light The callous meanness, the bullying, or the threats that come as standard with the extortion under lifetime of death. So, no matter how much 
things on an industrial scale. Cause there ain't no business like bad plan, business like business as usual. No matter how much it bends over backwards, pretending to be our friend. Not a real person in any real sense, and it will never be our friend. Corpragedon. Uh, there is a fantastic poem by the late Heathcote Williams called uh, Autogeddon. And it's, I think it's from the 1970s. And it, back then, even then, he was, you know, it's meticulously researched uh, just about how cars and pollution were killing the planet and global warming back then, even. Uh, Autogeddon. And uh, that's where Corpragedon comes from. Anyway, uh, how we doing for time? Oh, 15, 15. Ooh. Yeah, but mama, mama, I know. I know we're not supposed to talk about him. I know you said, but mama, mama, there's a girl at nursery and she's my friend and she's called Jennifer and she's a girl and her daddy is a lawman. You mean like a policeman, doll? No, a lawman, he knows things. And he say that bad clown creeper is an illegal. Yeah, an illegal. Because you know, mommy, like when, when a bald eagle is poorly in its tummy, it, an illegal. Uh, but bad clown creeper, he doesn't have an illegal in his tummy, mommy, no. He's got one and it's in his brain and it's pecking and pecking and pecking and pecking in his brain. So when he uses words, it come out like a fib, a big lot of fibs. Because you know, Mama, he's a very big fibber. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's another song that uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, I, I do lots of things and... Uh, uh, you know, I aspire to being a writer, but I did want to write a book, uh, like a young adult novel. And this po this this was a poem right at the end of the book, and and then we did like a radio uh, version of it. You know, uh, radio theatre, and oh, I got to write music for the song at the end, and it took forever. Anyway, anyway, this is it, and it, it's on the new record. It, it just can't. It seems to fit in because there's the new record. It's it's like. Uh, I said it's very theatrical. Some of that theatre stuff and the the children's play elements. And there's also a bit I can't duplicate, which is uh, robots, artificial intelligence, who are part of the story and, and government agents who are watching. And it's all during the these years we're living through. And uh, so it, it's very current, but it, it's also like, oh, there's a story to it. Uh, and anyway, uh, so there's these other elements. And here's one of them. It goes like this. We do 
say thanks for the humble atom from which all things are made. We do say thanks for the universe, our home, the Milky Way. We do say thanks for the planet Earth and its relation to the sun. We do say thanks for the lucky place we find ourselves in. Spark of life from which all beings grew. We do say thanks for evolution for giving us a lucky break. We do say thanks for the adaptation so we can communicate. Uh, cha being Northern English for thank you. Uh, okay. So you would have to listen to the whole thing to see how that fit in with some of the other stuff. Uh, why am I putting that away? Okay. We have about 10 minutes left. Okay. So here's an old one from an older record. Uh, and it's called uh, Information Storm. And... Uh, you know, when I, uh, you know, I was in Chumbawamba 22 years and, uh, you know, being on tour was always, you're always with a bunch of people. And, and then when I, uh, when I stopped being in Chumbawamba and wanted to be a writer and very quickly realized that I can't not perform live, uh, I, I did some solo tours. <laughs> and I remember being in Germany in a rented car trying to, you know, before, uh, what do you call it? Google Maps and all that stuff where you have like an actual map and you try. And I, I just caught myself and I was talking to myself in the car. Damn it, you, no, it's that way. Damn it, you, yeah, well, no, we missed it, we missed it. We, and everyone's going at like 100 miles an hour because they don't have a speed limit. Anyway, uh, even more so during COVID. I don't know where my son is, he's here some of the time, but he, he kind of sneaks out to his girlfriends. I don't know if it's kosher, but... He's 20, so uh, good luck to him. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm like, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, but mama, mama. Mm, yes. Anyway, uh, information storm goes like this. If I could play it, I should know it. I'm about to come back to that. Oh, that was such a good link. Such a good link. Oh, here we go. We got it. He's got it. He's got it. Voices, voices, I hear voices, I Down in this cave hole deep underground Off the 
spectrum Below the radar something is stirring down below Down through history crossing seas An information storm gathering speed Desperate voices, desperate needs Can this temper set us free? Back in the garage with my detector carbon dioxide, French kissing the thermometer, raise the skull and crossbows, raise the dead. Voices ringing round my head. Full fathom five, the sufferers to change. Coming up for air. Sea legs deep, animal radar, like a thread around the world. Singing da 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 The margins, looking daggers beyond the firewall, behind the mirage. Information war that's many heads, fresh legs, an axis of descent. Wrapping up shoulders, wrapping up the wrong way. Is there a right way? Is there a wrong way? Through the veil of dark arts in the midst of mistakes. Whatever which way, whatever it takes. Voices I hear, voices I